Hello, my dear children. Welcome to today's session. So, what are we doing today? Today, we will be learning about our culture, our culture, our traditions, our customs, our festivals. What do we wear on these festivals? How do we celebrate them and have fun with all the cultures and traditions that we follow together as a family, as a community? So, let's start reading. <clears throat> India has a rich culture and tradition. So, as all of us know that India has 29 states and every state has a different culture. It has different traditions. We have different, different food items uh, in different part of India and ours is a very secular country. There are many wonderful paintings, sculptures, valuables, literature and other interesting features to see in every state. So in every state there are different monuments, there are different sculptures, there are different paintings, there are different cuisines, there are different attires of every state. Pe now languages. People living in different parts of India speak different languages. The constitution of India recognizes 22 languages. Some of them are Dogri, Gujarati, Nepali, Punjabi and Marathi. Hindi is the official language of our country. That's the national language of our country. So Hindi is acceptable. Uh, pan India, it is acceptable all over India. But English is also being used along with it. Sanskrit and Tamil are very old languages. The languages have their own scripts. Most of the Indian languages are written from left to right except Sindhi, Kashmiri and Urdu. So, in the constitution of India, there are 22 languages known in India and they are Gujarati, Rajasthani, Dogri, Marathi, uh, Uriya and the many more languages like 22 languages but the official language of India is Hindi. Apart from that English is also being spoken all over India and uh, Sanskrit and Tamil are the most, they are the oldest languages of India uh, and most of the languages in India are being written from left to right like we write in English. And when we write in Hindi, we write from left to right. Except from Sindhi, Urdu and Kashmiri, it is being written from right to left. So, we li write like this. So, it is kind of, it's difficult to write. Like if anyone will have to learn writing from right to left. Now comes our customs. Indians wear different kinds of dresses. They are mostly made from different clothes like cotton, silk, synthetic. Each state has its own traditional dress. If we see the dress of some people, we will be able to recognize that which state does, does this particular dress belong to. In schools also, when children perform different folk dances from different, different states, they wear the clothes of that particular state, whether it is from Haryana or Rajasthan or uh, uh, Maharashtra or uh, Assam. They have some different attire, some different dresses belonging to every particular state. People like to dress up in traditional dresses during different festivals and special occasions. Every state has its own style and design. Sari is the most popular dress for women. But style of draping of sari, it differs from state to state. So, sari is the main thing, but the draping style, how it is being wrapped, that differs from one state to another state from place to place. So, Mikhila Chadar is the two-piece dress worn by women of Assam. Mikhila Chadar. Ghagra is the is most popular in Haryana and Rajasthan, Gujarat and Madhya Pradesh. Ghagra. Men 
uh, generally they are seen in trousers and shirts nowadays but traditionally uh, men used to wear veshti or lungi in tamil nadu or mundu in kerala and they are generally worn by men on special occasions so veshti lungi uh, it is called in tamil nadu or mundu in kerala and what is a lungi it is a piece of cloth which is not tied anywhere it is being draped around the waist by men people wear long woolen kurtas called fera ferans in jammu and kashmir nagaland is famous for shawls with different patterns and turbans are common in states like gujarat punjab and haryana so you have to write that which language you speak in your home so whether you speak mostly in hindi or uh, punjabi or uh, haryanvi or english which language do you speak in some people where who are bengalis they speak bengali at home so uh, people speak marathi at home please write what language do you speak at your home which is your favorite dress that you always wear at your home so if i talk about myself loose pajamas and t-shirts are my favorite dress which i wear at home most of the time so write about yourself what do you like to wear at home most of the time now comes the dance and music of india in different different states indian indians are very fond of dance and music and in fact india has a very rich culture of dance and music Indian dance and music are of two types one is folk and one is classical folk dances are performed on marriages festival change of season sowing and harvesting of crops all den dances whether classical or folk it expresses joy and happiness and it sometimes uh, the classical dance forms they also express a a uh, full story form in classical dance so bhangra giddha of punjab ghumar of rajasthan and garba of gujarat so bhangra and giddha of punjab ghumar of rajasthan and garba of gujarat and lavni in maharashtra are very popular folk dances of india so see this is garba this is bhangra this is ghumar Uh, so there is this um, movie called padmavat if you ever get a chance to see that movie so there is a very famous dance called ghumar in that uh, movie and it shows a typical rajasthani ghumar dance in that movie classical dance requires a lot of practice and a lot of training the classical dances began in temples so how does how did this classical dance began it began in temple so later kings encouraged these dances and through classical dance forms god goddess forces of nature were appeased kathakali bharatnatyam manipuri and kathak are some of the well known classical dances of india and once in lifetime everyone should learn one or the other classical dance form it uh, uh, brings a lot of balance uh, mentally and in your body and uh, it requires a lot of training and practice so this is kathakali this is bharatnatyam and this is kathak every dance needs a typical music and dress so of course every dance when we uh, when we do ghumar or uh, any uh, kathakali or bharatnatyam or Uh, garba um, or uh, any dance form bihu so uh, all these dance forms they need a particular type of music it's not possible that the music or the uh, song is of uh, lavni and we are doing giddha on it no so if it's a lavni dance form the music should be like that if it's a giddha form of dance it, the music should be like that kathakali and yakshagana are dance dramas these dances and their styles were developed and grown in temples music are also of two types that is folk and classical the bihu geet of assam bhava geet of karnataka and pandavani of chatisgarh are some of the examples of folk music 
so bihu of assam bhava geet of karnataka and pandavani of chatisgarh there are two main styles of classical music that is uh, hindustani classical and carnatic uh, classical music hindustani started in north india and carnatic music started in south india hindustani and carnatic continue to survive through oral tradition being passed on by teachers to disciples this has led to the existence of family tradition called gharanas and supradayas so what happens that uh, these classical dance forms when one particular family they were into classical dance form they passed on that uh, classical dance form to their children and it has been passed on from generations to generations and uh, these are called gharanas or sampraday so uh, one is lucknow gharana from lucknow gharana there is birju maharaj and the whole gharana is into the dance form of kathak so kathak is a uh, traditional dance form it's the classical dance form which has come from uttar pradesh so this is how um, you know the classical dance form is being passed from generation to generation in north india it is uh, called the hindustani classical dance form and in south india it is called carnatic form of uh, classical dance form so variety of instrument is used for creating music the classical music is uh, being produced by various musical instruments and some of them are flute tabla sarod veena shehnai and sitar some of the famous musicians of uh, our country are zakir hussain a r rahman ravi shankar right and these are the instruments uh which are the indian instruments and uh you are young children please try to learn one instrument to play one instrument in your lifetime and you see that uh, it is actually it gives a lot of pleasure uh when you play any musical instrument on your own so these are the terms that we learned today culture the customs ideas beliefs of a particular society are called culture tradition a belief that has continued from past past to the present a priest is to make someone less angry disciple a person who follow a teacher especially a religious one also remember that india has a rich culture and tradition the constitution of india recognizes 22 languages different people wear different types of dresses dances are of two types folk and classical bhangra ghoomar and garba are some of the folk dances of india kathakali bharatnatyam and manipuri are some of the classical dances of india music are also of two types folk and classical further divided into two types hindustani and carnatic all right let's complete this exercise and see what have we learned today the constitution of india recognizes 22 languages folk dances in india are the expression of joy on various events classical music is of two types mainly hindustani and carnatic urdu kashmiri and sindhi from are written from uh, right to left which of these are folk dances of india it is ghoomar let's fill in the blanks our country has a rich culture and traditions bhangra and giddha are popular dance folk dances performed in punjab dash is the folk dance of assam bihu dash is official language of our country hindi dash and dash are famous musicians of india a r rahman zakir hussain d code look at the picture and answer the following question so just look at this picture observe this picture and name this dance this is giddha 
Okay, so the next question is that you have to decode. Look at the picture and answer the following questions. Observe this picture carefully and name this dance. This is Garba. Is this a folk dance or classical? It's a folk dance. Have you ever heard about this dance? If yes, then where? So if you have heard about this dance, write yes. And where have you heard it? If you have gone to Gujarat, then Garba is the uh, dance form of Gujarat. And also Garba is being done on Navratris. Now you have to answer the following questions. How many official languages are there in India? There is only one official language which is Hindi. English is also being spoken but the official language is Hindi. Name the type of festival celebrated in India. So there is harvest festival, there is a sowing festival in India. Then uh, there are many other uh, festivals in India like uh, the mark of uh, to welcome the God, to welcome the rain. There are the, the different types of festivals which are being celebrated in India. So the type of festivals that are being celebrated in India are mostly the sowing festival and the harvest festivals. Name three classical dances and folk dances. So three classical dances are Kathak, Kathakali and Bharatnatyam. Folk dances you can name any. Uh, Lavni, Bhangra, Gidda, Garba, Ghumar. So all these dances are folk dances. How are folk dance different from classical dance? So folk dance are usually being done to present joy, uh, to mark the coming of any uh, season like rainy season, the sowing or when the uh, crops are being sowed or being harvested. Then the folk dances are being performed and uh, the classical dance forms they are, they were, uh, they came from the temples and then they were being done in the kingdoms and uh, the classical dance form it requires a lot of training and it has been passed from different generations to generations called gharanas and sampradayas. These are some fun based exercises that you can do yourself with your family, with your friends and have fun with the lesson. So you can make a beautiful project on our culture, cultural heritage uh, in your scrapbook and you can collect a lot of information from the internet about the same. Also, please celebrate the diversity of your community by hosting a cultural fair like in your community, uh, in your society, there must be people of different, different states and cultures. Just talk about them and celebrate a cultural fiesta kind of a fair. So Diwali is known as the festival of light and it is the most important festival of Hindus. So we should avoid firecrackers, but we should burn the diyas, the candles, the fairy lights, okay? So you can make beautiful rangoli, you can uh, decorate beautiful diyas for this festival and make this um, festival even more colorful. Then you can play a video of different dance forms on internet and try to copy the dance steps of the folk dances being done in Punjab, uh, then Garba in Gujarat or Kathak from Uttar Pradesh and try to mimic the steps of these uh, dance forms. So, and mimic the steps of these dance forms. So that's all for today in this chapter. I hope you have learned a lot about the different cultures and traditions of India and learned about them. You will try to uh, start taking classes or start taking interest in any folk dance or classical dance or playing any instrument and keep the tradition, the culture of India alive because you are the future of this country. Keep learning, keep shining. Bye-bye.